Hi, Dan. First of all, welcome to Nashville. A uh, question being, you and John Hines both have now history of working with development and developing young players and getting them ready for the next level as well. The Predators looking to, to hopefully include some younger players in next year's team, one being Philip Tomasino and maybe some guys that have been in the AHL, but ones that have taken that route of development. How do you plan to utilize that experience of you being a coach with the NTDP with, with John Hines and helping them get to that next level and be successful? Well, I think, you know, the young player today, uh, a lot of it's about figuring out what buttons to push. And the only way you can do that is to, to forge a good relationship. Uh, and, and in order to do that, they need to trust you. So you got to speak their language. They all speak different languages when it comes to their, their hockey game and their, you know, emotional stability, if you will. So, so you gotta, you have to forge that relationship. Uh, the, it, the days of just putting their head down and going through the wall because you tell them to do it are those days are over. So, you know, uh, we, we live in that why generation, uh, type hockey player. And, and, you know, that's the, probably the, the biggest asset I'll take from the NTDP is, is how to reach the young player, you know, to speak their language, to push their buttons and, and to understand what it, what makes them tick and, you know, um, X's and O's and, you know, the on ice skill stuff, obviously that'll be a part of it. But to me, it's more about forging that relationship and, and uh, coach Hines does a great job of that. And, and hopefully I can feed you back on that as well. Hi, Dan. So your time being a scout as well as being a coach, how do you think that time being a scout can help you prepare better for opponents in terms of what you're able to see during your time as a scout and those skills that come with being a scout and recognizing talent and skill? How can you adapt that to help you prepare for, for your team and being able to be best prepared for the opponent? Scouting, scouting helped me a lot in understanding the individual game uh, of a player versus kind of the overall picture uh, of a coach where you're watching more systematic play and you know the rights and the wrongs and the you know the mistakes that are made uh, as a scout you have to watch the individuals so you start to watch you know their habits you know do they how, how do they change do they change when they should and, and are they changing hard what you know where's their stick you know what's their off ice you know like so it, it really honed your individual assessment of, of the player and that to me is the most important part of the game today you have to you can't big picture these guys you have to you have to get to know them on an individual level so both for our team you know helping guys individually when i'm watching video but also when you're scouting another team you know another team's power play each each player has their own habits and idiosyncrasies and if you can if you can you know figure those out and warn the guys that hey that you know when he comes across the line he does this little stutter step every time he does this stutter step he cuts you know just little tips like that over the you know the course of a year especially because these guys are going to play against each other for many years to come if you can teach them these little these little tricks of the trade that each player has and uh you know i think that goes a long way to either defending or or beating your opponent so so there's some big advantage there big advantages there from from learning what I learned while scouting.